Tron Legacy is a sequel to the original 1982 Tron film. It was released in 2010, directed by Joseph Kaczynski, and produced by Sean Bailey, Jeffrey Silver, and Steve Lisberger. The movie pivots around the work of Kevin Flynn, the CEO of a company called Encom. Flynn mysteriously disappears, and his son Sam eventually decides to look for him. Sam quickly discovers a secret passage at his father's old arcade, which leads to a sophisticated computer and a portal that transports him to a virtual world created by his father. And thus, Sam's journey begins. Tron Legacy is a movie in broad terms about light. The film is set in essentially two locations, the real world and a virtual one. The virtual world is without natural light, and thus every object and building, including people, both human and humanoid, wear light. Like our world, the virtual one created by computer programmer Kevin Flynn is filled with architecture. However, the architecture of the movie uses light at its edges or on its surface, but not so much to illuminate space. Strips of light are not only found on people and buildings, but also on the fantastic machines like the light cycle, light jets, fighters, transports, and warships, which ingeniously can also produce strips of light that become physical objects. The architecture of the film takes clues from the general science fiction genre, but is set apart by the way light is utilized on objects and in space. The virtual city in the film Tron Legacy is much like those of the real world, composed of various forms at varying heights. However, these forms also resemble simple objects whose edges and surfaces are accentuated by light. It's almost as though light has replaced the way paint is used to delineate or spell out a message in our real world. The visual aesthetics of the film become like a language of symbols of unknown origin. Light is used to wash surfaces rather than directly illuminate space, to describe otherwise unrecognizable darkened spaces, accentuate the human figure, or as a kind of framework for objects that describe their inner workings. Surfaces are also darkly reflective, and with the magic of selective illumination, almost every object in the film seems to dance, however mysteriously accentuated. In Tron Legacy, there are more than a few notable examples of creative architectural space and form in the virtual world. The stadium where Sam Flynn is sent to perform a series of deadly physical challenges is otherworldly. His father's home outside the city is also notable. The floors are luminescent, the ceiling is reflective, the walls are a kind of cave-like carved stone, and the objects within are black and white, modern juxtaposed with traditional. The nightclub where Sam Ventures is set atop a skyscraper filled with curvilinear forms and accentuated with strips of light. The architecture of Clue's warship is a massive industrial space replete with an army of glowing soldiers, war machines, and a vast web of passages and platforms. And finally, the portal which is both ancient and futuristic, stunning and death-defying. Tron Legacy is a visually impressive film and a creative tour de force. Its original thinking about architecture and light are also inspiring. It's no surprise then that the film's director, Kaczynski, went to the Columbia Graduate School of Architecture. I'm Doug Pat. We'll see you next time.